Just before a rare spiritual retreat begins at the Vatican, a press communication reveals the idea was proposed by the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby. From April 10th to 11th, the president of South Sudan, Salva Kerr, and four vice presidents will also be present, along with eight members of the South Sudan Council of Church. The goal of this retreat is both diplomatic and ecumenical. The Archbishop of Canterbury's office organized it with the Vatican Secretariat of State. Reflections during the two-day retreat will be offered by Ugandan Archbishop John Baptist Odama of Gulu and the president of the Conference of Major Superiors of Africa and Madagascar, Jesuit Father Ora Bator. It's a significant meeting since Pope Francis and Justin Welby expressed their desire to travel to South Sudan together at the Anglican Parish of All Saints in 2017. Presbiteriano e il Cattolico, tre insieme a dirmi, per favore venga in Sud Sudan, soltanto una giornata, ma non venga solo, venga con Justin Welby, cioè con il Vescovo di Canterbury. Since they've not been able to go, the leaders will all be united at the Vatican. Over the years, Pope Francis and Justin Welby have had good ecumenical relations. In 2016, they celebrated First Vespers together to mark 50 years of dialogue and engagement at the Basilica of San Gregorio al Celio in Rome. The Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, Pope Francis and John Chalmers, former moderator of the Presbyterian Church of Scotland, will also sign Bibles that will be given out to each of the participants present. Inside they will write, Seek that which unites, overcome that which divides.